All right, I'm back. Here we go. We got some hollyhocks over here in the corner that's showing bug damage a little bit. Are making a podcast? Yeah, I'm doing a video to post this morning. Even my basil's got some stuff out of it. I think I've got a bunch of beetles and some other bugs that are going wild. The hollyhocks over here are taking a huge amount of damage. I should have never put them in. It seems like they attracted the bugs. I don't know what's eating my mint over here, but something's definitely eating it big time. So we'll come over here and we'll look at the hollyhocks over here. They're getting eaten alive too. I know I got beetles, I know I got aphids. I'm gonna have to throw some stuff to kill them. But other than that, the herbs are doing real well. The basil plants are doing nice. Celery seems to be bolting because of the weather. Let's see. But it's getting there a little bit, we'll get a few. The lettuce bolted on because of the heat last week. We had three or four days of 90 plus, close to 100. And the heat got to everything. Come around over here. The sunflower took a beat and it went down because of the storm. I got a pepper plant that's still down over there. I got to prop back up. I got to thin some of these beans out around these pepper plants because there's way too many It's smothering them. Oh, I was saying I bought a blueberry bush for 10 bucks on clearance. And that's looking real nice. $10, how can you go wrong? Even if I get... Next year I get a couple of buckets out of it. It's worth the 10 bucks I spent on it. Come over here. This sunflower, I had to trim back a lot of dead leaves. I don't know what from. But that one took a big hit. I had put a stake in to prop it up, and I'm not sure if maybe I hit the, some of the roots with the stake. I didn't think I did, but I could have. Some of the sunflowers are going past, but we also got some that are still reaching for the sky. <coughs> I got some lettuce over here that's bolting and going to seed. I'm going to save the seed off of this. I'm going to save the seed off of whatever else I can. It's really wet out here, really wet. Some of these buckets are just soaked. This tomato plant took a hit the other night when we had a windstorm. Half of it broke off, kind of. I propped it back up, and I'm hoping she'll come back. I'm not sure, but... I don't think that's bottom rot. I'm hoping it's not. I'm gonna spray them with some um, Epsom salt solution today. The other, the other tomato plants, I hit with some fertilizer. They took a real weird, not liking to it. I don't know if I over fertilize or not. But the rain should have washed it all out. Look at the sunflower sticking up through the back. We've got cherry tomatoes that are just about to start to come in. Some of them are turning a little bit red. This tomato plant, I'm going to trim back some of the dead stuff on it. I don't know what caused it. And I'm going to try clipping some of these up a little higher off the ground. Some of these plants went down to, to the um, wind the other night. Really bad, really bad. These tomato plants seem to be coming in all right in the buckets. And the beans, well, they just keep on a growing, and I got nothing else up to put higher. Come around to the back out here. I got some starters that need to go in the ground. My cukes blew up with all this rain, and they're doing real well, so I'm gonna train them to go up the strings up here. The potatoes, they're doing really well over here. Matter of fact, some of them look like they're starting to die off, so. It's my first year with potatoes, and I don't know what to do. Um, we'll come around the back side over here. Huh. The melons and the cucumbers and everything seems to be growing wild over here with all that rain. I had all these vines tied up to the very ends, and now they're sticking way off. I mean, this one here must have grew a foot or two in the last. Look at this. That, all that grew in the last day or so from the rain. Let's see what else we got going on. Cucumbers are making their way up the fence. I got a bunch of cukes started on there. I was worried about them. Last time we had heavy, heavy rains like this, I lost some of the pails of cukes. Watermelons, they're thriving with all this wet. They're just growing all over the fence over here and in the corner. These cucumbers, the buckets last time took a real hit on me. 
when we had all this rain, and these seem to be having a problem. This looks like the watermelon's spreading way over here. We got some baby watermelons on there. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Another one over here. I'm gonna have to tie all this up this morning. Come out here. We come around. Oh, we got some peppers on the purple bell starting. We've got the squash. This is growing out from the garden in there. And then, oh, got a couple of strawberries down there starting too. We've got, these are um, orange melons, what are they called? Cantaloupe. I put them in just before the storms. They seem to grab, so hopefully they take hold and they start growing up the fence. And hopefully I got enough time. There's another strawberry over here. Something been eating at it? No. Let's see, what do we got? That one's rotten, rotten on the vine. All right, we'll take that off and throw it over there away. This one here got rotten, we'll throw that away. I gotta trim back a bunch of this stuff. The squash is just flowing right out of the garden and coming over here. The beets seem to be doing all right in there. Everything is just, it's just one big mess in there. I'm gonna have to go in there and tame it back with a pair of snips today. The wind blew everything over again. We got some honeysuckle over here that's starting to take off. I'm trying to get it to grow up. But it seems to be wanting to spread. But we'll worry about that later. And I got one of those weird dragon flowers or whatever it is over here that's producing a bunch of flowers. Of course, we got the tomato bucket, which seems to be doing well. Got a bunch of herbs in there. We got some basil in there, purple basil. It's looking good. Oh, look at these plants, man. There's something killing them, eating them. Eating them, eating them, eating them. I got to get out here and spray today. Look at, they're just getting, they're getting mortified. I mean, look at this. I'm getting hit hard. Even the potato plants are getting hit. I mean, I got to straighten this out before I start to lose a bunch of stuff. I'm hoping it's not too late already. The garden is exploding though. I can't even walk in here now. Um, I've got eggplants starting everywhere in here on these. What is that? That's a black. I don't know if you're a good one or a bad. You're definitely not a, you're not a ladybug. And I got aphids on here. I see them. This plant's been tough to control. Let's see, how's the pumpkin doing back in there? It's growing, I see it hanging in a little sling. I got some squashes over here. Weird little ones. Oh, I got that too, that's a weird one. Wow, I don't know what else to show you in here. I just, I gotta get in here and cut stuff back though. It's just getting, I can't even walk in here. I clipped the basil way back and it's still coming. So, I mean, it's not a lot of area, but I got some stuff growing. Pepper plants taking a hit over here, too. So, I got one bag cow manure left. I think I'm going to hit some stuff with some natural fertilizer like that. I'm going to start cleaning up the mess from after the storm here this morning. So, you guys, you have a good day. And I want to say, happy 4th of July.